Ah, her fever's broken. Oh, good. The worst is over. I wish it were so. Are you worried about Luis and Antonio? When Sheridan wakes up, one of my sons will have their heart broken all over again. Hey, hello there. <sighs> Eve, where am I? The last thing I remember was being in the gazebo. Well, you passed out, and then Antonio and Luis brought you home. Where are they? Well, don't worry about them. Just tell me how you're feeling. Nothing hurts. I'm just confused. I, I was wandering around town, and all these memories came flooding back to me. I was in love with Luis, but I'm married to Antonio. Yes, it's, it must be very difficult being pulled in two different directions. Are, are they outside? Yes, oh. both of them. They're waiting to see what you've decided. Both been so patient. They really deserve an answer. So you know what you're gonna do? Yes. I know who I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. Come on, not, not so fast now. Are you sure you're even strong enough to talk to Luis and Antonio? Yeah, yeah, I have to. I, I can't let them beat each other's throats one more day. Don't worry about them. Just take a minute for yourself. Make sure you're making the right decision. You know what? You're right. Maybe I'll, I'll go take a shower first. That's a good idea. But it's not going to change my mind. I, I have to put Luis and Antonio out of their misery and give them my decision. You take a shower. I will make you a cup of tea. Then you can tell them. Thank you. <laughs> Most women hope to find one great love in their life. Seems they've always had two. Why does someone always have to get hurt? After tonight, I begin the rest of my life with the man I belong with. I just hope I don't break the other man's heart. They just came in, so I'll go tell them that you're coming out. Thanks. So you sure you're ready to do this? Best I'll ever be. Just have to tell Luis and Antonio what's in my heart. That's all that matters now, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I'll come with you. Thank you. Hey, how are you feeling? Okay. Sheridan, if you're not up it's for answering. It's past time that I tell you what I've decided. Now just promise me that neither one of you will interrupt me until I'm finished. <laughs> 